Hello, welcome back to Code Academy's Learn JavaScript, Conditional Statements, Ternary Operator. In the spirit of using shorthand syntax, we can use a ternary operator to simplify an if else statement. Take a look at the if else statement example. We have let is night be assigned true. We say if is nighttime, we log out turn on the lights, else we log out turn off the lights. We can use a ternary operator to perform the same functionality. So this will do the same as this. We have is nighttime. If it's true, we log out turn on the lights, else we log out turn off the lights. In the example above, the condition is nighttime is provided before the question mark. Two expressions follow the question mark and are separated by a colon. If the condition evaluates to true, the first expression executes. If the condition evaluates to false, the second expression executes. Like if else statements, ternary operators can be used for conditions which evaluate to true or false. So our instructions say refactor or edit the first if else block to use a ternary operator. It looks like two and three are asking for the same thing. So we can do the first one, this if statement, and we can do that by following the example here. We go to our console log and delete up to here. Then we can use question mark, log that out, go down to this console log, delete, colon, log this out. We don't need this. Let's run that. We should pass now and it should do the same functionality. It does log that out. We did a pass. We're doing the same for the second now. Go to the console log here, erase, question mark, go over here, don't need the if. So if is correct, question mark or ternary operator, log this out. And then here, same thing, separated by. So if is correct, log this out, else log incorrect. Don't need this brace. Should be able to run that now. Did pass. Now we just got the third if statement here. Go to the log, question mark. Favorite phrase equals low. Then do log this out. If not, log this out. Don't need that curly brace. And this should work the same. And we did pass that, did log that out. So all we're really learning here is a, a simpler shorthand way of doing an if else statement using the ternary operator. So by using the ternary operator, we don't have to use this if else um, parentheses and curly braces. We could very easily accomplish the same functionality using the ternary operator, which is a question mark and colon. And we use those to separate our if else conditions. As long as you're getting that the ternary operator accomplishes what an if else statement accomplishes, then you'll better grasp how it works. If you're getting that, I'll see you in the next lesson.